Hello viewers and my dear students. Welcome to session 1 of problem 5 demo on CNC manual part programming for a turning profile given using Denford Fanuc turning simulation software. These are all video tutorials on CNC manual part programming of turning exercises involving grooving and box thread cutting cycle that is G92 using Denford Fanuc turning simulation software. This I am telling you this is session 1. In session 1, I will be telling you clearly how to do the manual part programming for the given profile. But this profile, unlike the previous problems, we have not only the rough turning, not only the finish turning, not only groove cutting, but also you have thread cutting in this cycle, okay, in this profile. Now, I will explain you how exactly manual part programming has to be done for this complex profile involving rough turning, finish turning, grooving and box threading cycle. Okay. Now, see here, this is the, this is the uh, profile given. Now, as you know, uh, the principle behind manual part programming is you have to call, give the coordinates of A, B, C, D, E, F, G and all that. And in terms of X and Z, X is perpendicular to this, this axis and Z is along the axis. Okay. Now, as you see here, in this problem, they have given, you have, the, after rough turning, you should leave an alliance of 0 0.5, 0 0.1 mm on both X and Z. They are clearly given, you should leave an alliance of 0.1 on both X and Z. That means after rough, roughing, it, this uh, diameter will be, 0 0.1 will be uh, retained here, 0 0.1 will be retained here, so that it will be 12.2. Okay, 0 0.1 here, 0 0.1 here means it will be 12.2. Even in the same way, if it is 22 also, it is 22.2. That 0.1 will be removed during finishing. Even here, this, let us say, this distance is 20. 20 means after rough turning, it will be 19.9 and 0.1 will be removed during finishing. This I have already told you. Now I will explain you the uh, manual part programming part of it. And please understand, here an alliance of 0.1 should be left on X and Z. And cut increment, that is depth of cut for rough turning, okay. Depth of cut for uh, rough turning is 1 mm, okay. Now it is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You have to concentrate. Now you see here, now uh, yeah, in this program I have taken, there are uh, four, uh, that is, uh, stages. One is multiple rough turning. One is finishing. One is grooving. One is threading. This is planning and operation shape. Whatever you are doing in this program, you just feed it. First you have to plan and then you have to draw, draw the program. Now in the rough turning, I, I, I want the speed to be 1200. During finishing, it is 1450. During grooving, it should be 800. And threading is machine dependent. We don't have to give. And feed also, during roughing, it is 35. During finishing, it is 25. During grooving, it is 15 mm. These are all the things what we wanted. We'll try to insert the same values in the program. Now you see here, these are all the things. You, you just see, these are all the things. You see here, the X22 is a uh, thing that is a maximum diameter. And length, uh, you see here, this is 17 plus 3, 20. 20 plus 10, 30, 40. Okay, 40 plus 10, 50. It is 55 is the total length. That is why I have given little more than that. The billet also X22 I given. You could have given X24 or X26 and all that. Just to minimize the wastage, I just given X22 only. So that the uh, that is billet size, X22. 22 is the diameter, 70 is the length. That uh, wastage of the uh, workpiece is minimized here because I have given exactly X22. You could have given X22, X23 or X24, nothing happens. Okay, G21, G98 initial setting in the way I have told you in the last problems and all that. Going to home position. Then changing the tool to 1, okay, first tool for rough turning. This is changing the speed to 1200. They are given 1200 should be the speed. I change the speed to 1200. And now you see here, the home position is here. From the home position, the tool comes rapidly to this position. That is X23 Z1. Please understand X23. This is X22, 23, little away from the workpiece. And 1 mm away from this. The Z will be 0 here. And it is minus 17, minus 20, minus 13. That way it goes. That is, in this position, it does not collide with the workpiece. 
tool entry point is x23 z1 okay that is x23 z1 then g71 u.5 r1 this you understand this is the rough turning cycle okay now you see here now in this particular problem u.5 is depth of cut of 0.5 mm okay and radius uh, ray r1 is retract distance that is going back by uh, that is after every cutting no the tool going back by 1 mm okay now in this problem if the cut increment is 1 mm you put u is equal to 1 here this is a very important thing be, be careful in this problem if it is given the cut increment is 1 mm you make u is equal to 1 that is u 1 here now it is u 0.5 means it is depth of cut of 0.5 every cut that is diametrically it reduces by 1 mm but if it is u 1 in this problem it is given 1 you change it to 1 here if it is 1 here after every rough turning after every that tool comes this way and cuts every cut the diametrical reduction will be 2 mm okay then g71 p10 q20 u.1 w.1 f35 means please understand this is a rough turning cycle between the block numbers 10 and 20 that is n10 and 20 you have the program and clearly see in the problem that given clearly given align should be left on x and z should be 0.1 i clearly made u.1 w.1 and feed during rough turning is uh, 35 mm per minute that also i have given okay now you see here n10 g01 now it is all linear interpolation n10 g01 x10 that is coming to a the tool from this position come to a okay then g01 x12 z minus 1 that is tool going to b in that way you are defining each and every point that is the principle behind manual part programming is if you if you give the coordinates of b c d a b c d e f g in terms of x and z automatically your profiling is done okay now this is n10 between n10 and n20 is the actual program for the entire abcd fg okay now you see here n10 g01 x10 means the tool coming to a g01 x12 z minus 1 means tool coming to b g01 x12 z minus 20 means that is tool coming to c g02 that is it is that is a uh, circular interpolation clockwise this is clockwise the no? clockwise that is g02 x16 that is at this point x16 z minus 30 this distance is z minus 30 z minus 30 radius is 25 whatever is the radius you give okay and you have to feed attach feed also if they don't give the feed whatever pre feed you are given earlier that will be taken feed 35 then g01 z minus 40 means tool moving to point e and then g03 that means linear that is circular interpolation anti clockwise that is e to f that is g03 x22 z minus 50 radius 16 means tool moving to point f you just see the coordinates of f i have given here okay then n20 g01 z minus 55 tool moving to g that means i have given the coordinates of a b c d e f g here you just verify that now once it is done the program is between n10 and n20 this is n20 end of the program g01 z minus 55 Now, after this rough turning, as you know, allowance of point one will be left on x, and allowance of point one will be left on z also. As I said, this is twelve means point one here, point one means here, point one here means it is twelve point two actually. And during a depth of cut of point one, it will do the finishing. Anyway, these things I have told you so many number of times in the previous exercises. Now, the tool will go to the hop position. Then you see, change the tool to two. Once you change the tool to two. the speed has increased now i want the best possible finish i am increasing the speed now you see here the tool has gone to home position here now from the home position it comes rapidly to g00 x22 z1 that means x22 z1 means this is 22 somewhere here uh, uh, it is a dot colliding position x22 1 mm away from the workpiece it comes rapidly finishing tool it is a finishing tool because it is a second tool it is a finishing tool which removes only the allowance x22 z1 it comes okay then g70 that is just finishing it you just finishing cycle the beauty of finishing cycle is you just give g70 p10 q20 f25 with a feed of 25 b10 
between the block numbers 10 and 20, you do the finishing. That means between the block numbers 10 and 20. That is, as you know here, where 10 will start here in 10. In 20 is here. In this, A, B, C, D, E, F, G and all that are incorporated. Okay. Between the blocks numbers 10 and 20 with the feed of 25, the finishing is done. That means it removes only the aligns so that it will be exactly as per the dimensions given. Now, after this, the finishing tool will go to the home position. G28, U0, W0, it goes to the home position. Now, you see here. Now, after this, I'll call the next tool. That is the grooming tool. M06, T0303. And the speed during grooming, the spin speed during grooming is 800, 800 RPM. That also I have given. That is why you take the same thing. Then, see here, the grooming tool will come rapidly to G00, X13, Z-20. You see here, this is, the tool will come here. Anyway, the tool have a tool has a width of 3 mm. Okay, width of the groove is 3 mm. And also, width of the tool also is 3 mm. That is why, the tool will come X13 Z minus 20. It will come and stand here. Can you understand? X13 Z minus 20 left alignment. In that way, it comes here. That, uh, the, that is G75 is the grooving cycle. G75 R1. Next you see G75 X9. That means that grooving, it cuts radially. Okay. Every time, as I told you in earlier, it is P100, 100 microns. 0.1 mm, it goes inside the workpiece. That is perpendicular to the axis. That means diametrically it reduces by 0.2. Okay, in that way it does. That is W minus 0 I have given because here the width of the groove is equal to width of the groove is equal to tool width is equal to the groove width. Tool width is equal to the groove width, W minus 0. X9 is the final, the diameter what I want. P100 is, uh, that is perpendicular to the axis, that is uh, radial increment, that is the depth of cut, 0.1 means diametrically reduces 0.2. Then Q1500, this will be a waste because this is W minus 0, it will not move axially. Okay, then feed is 50. In that way, this grooming is done here, and uh, like, uh, please clearly understand, it is the tool coming rapidly to X13Z minus 20 means it is here. And the tool width is 3 mm, groove width is also 3 mm. In that way, it need not move axially. This Q1500 will be a waste. Okay, now after this, the tool will go to the home position. Next to you, the fourth tool will come. This is the threading tool. Be careful about that. G00, this is the fourth tool. G00, X14, Z12 Z means, Z2 means, this is already up to 12 mm meters cut. It comes somewhere here, X14, not colliding the point. X14, little away, 12, 14, and Z2, 2 mm away. This is the tool entry point for the threading tool. Okay, G92 is the box threading cycle. X12, Z minus 17. Okay, X12, from X12, from X12 is the uh, diameter here. Z minus 17 means, that is, it has to cut up to 17 mm. That is Z minus 17. And this is 1.75 is the feed. Now, this feed, you will show here. See here, for 12, you see, pitch should be 1.75. That is, uh, 1.75 is the pitch you have to take. And the core diameter should be 9.853. That is why what I do is, this is the pitch, uh, 1.75. Okay. Once looking at this M12, for the 12 mm diameter you have to do, 1.75 will be the pitch. 9.853 is the thing. In that way, what I'll do is, X11.8, X11.6, X11.4, 11, 11.2, 11, 10.8, 10.6, 10.4, 10.2, 10, and 9.8 I'll stop because, as you know, for this 12 mm diameter, the core diameter should be 9.853. That is why, once you get 9.853, you stop at that. Okay. Now, every time it cuts 9.8, 9.6, that means depth of cut will be 0.1 mm. In that way, 11.8, 9.6, in that way, 9.8 you'll come. Then, in that way, it is here the grooving is done. Once 11.8, 11.6, 11.4, 11.2, 11, 10.8, 10.6. In that way, it goes on cutting in this region up to 17 mm till the final thing is obtained. Okay. And uh, now goes to the home position, M05, M30. 
Thank you very much for viewing. This is the end of session one. We'll continue in session two. Thank you, friends. Thank you.